Noel is a car salesman. His showroom is filled with new and used Japanese cars. The starting price for one of them is $15,000. Despite a 100% import tax on motor vehicles, they're selling like hotcakes. The business is good, it is increasing. And uh, for middle class, it is no more luxury because it is a, a necessity now. 200 new cars are being registered every day. The middle class's appetite for consumption is boosting the country's economy. Consider this. 30 million people make up the middle income bracket. That's more than the population of Sweden, Norway and Denmark combined. In a uh, decade or so, we'll be one of the 30th largest economy of the world. And one should keep that in mind. So uh, it's, it's not the size of the country, it's the population. And also very, very entrepreneurial population. I think there lies our, our strength. Despite only 1% direct foreign investment, the country's GDP is growing at the rate of 6% a year. The rising middle class is investing heavily in the stock market and in domestic businesses. It is they who are behind the economic growth. Unlike his father's generation, Noel spends his money on his family rather than saving it in the bank. His wife wants to stay on top of fashion, so she makes regular trips to the shopping mall. This is the largest one in the country. The management says it receives more than 100,000 visitors every day, so it had to open up new shops to accommodate to this growing demand. The country's garment industry that makes clothes for the world's largest retailers is now realizing the potential there is in opening local retail shops. Their target, the new middle class. This comes as good news for Noel's wife. She gets the latest clothes to stand out from the crowd. For her, it's a question of class. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Pakistan.